says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Clarifies that rigging the odds in your favor in preparation of the takeover is one thing, but collateral damage is another. Here's the first line of defense. Bomb lobber. that drain pipe. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Just a few moves left, make them count. Everything's clocking together. Got nothing to lose. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. Never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last long enough to see it. Says the tr won't hesitate to carve out some revenge on those who hurt them.
a sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger. Timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it then hit it toward the gate and blast it. and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger.
Kuru Musa Ha. Yet I'll fall of us in Habale. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Yet one thing. Figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Claims to have strange things from the dead zone that are... Says you're in good company. Everyone needs a good deal. That'll do. Sharp dealing. Someone has to end this plague before it's legenebu ya pepioyo dola suma la me dola su offers you extraordinary prices for legenebu ya pepioyo manugenyaku says. That worked out. <laughs> Worth looking at. A sealed deal. Let's see. That's all, Mona. Says they've been waiting for you to help them. You do that in the book, Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. 
Says Scout spotted a moth nest close to the outpost. If you destroy that, the moths should infest the place looking for a new home. That's the idea. If everything works out as planned, the moths should cause a buzzing tumult. Be careful down here, easy to get trapped. Nice work. No more moth's nest. There go the moths toward the outpost. They're good and mad. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you 
your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. Believes you'll make them all proud, too. There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his tribe to lose as they're the ones that are ruthless, but now that you're working with their rival, to fight for what you stand for isn't a fight he'll give up. It's a fight to the end. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender. belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is... Says it will be a relief to finally have it over. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. They've been waiting for you, taking control. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. They've built the storm tower to protect and get you over the walls of the fortification while keeping an element of surprise.
It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. Clarifies that rigging the odds in your favor in preparation of the rival's fort is one thing, but collateral damage... That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. That one had it coming. Upsy daisy. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Just 
Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. Nice crackle. Make sure you don't walk off a cliff while you're night blind. Battering Bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't challenge someone that has nothing left to lose. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. 
It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. Platz. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. Got a one thing. Believes the war you wage is based on the principle that if you win, the end will justify the means. Get out of get a one thing. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. Get out of you know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The tree of life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so to the end. It's the Jagni Staff. Don't flinch away from this. It's your moment. You need to focus. <laughs> 